If you know this sound, you know the satisfaction of watching a cast land right where you wanted it to. You felt your heart skip a beat at that first nibble, and the electricity in your fingers as you play a big fish closer to the boat. Feel it all again, over and over, on a fishing tour package with famed angler and guide Andy Vanderplug. He'll take you to awe-inspiring locations abundant with the finest in fin fighters. Call Master Angler Guiding Service in High River or find them online at sportfishingalberta.ca. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Team Handyman's The Master Angler. All right, we're down to the lake, finally. Look at it. Back to the parking lot. There's a good little bay, and the water level's high. Maybe we'll get a follow, maybe we'll catch a fish. I don't know, but I thought I'd get out and make my rounds as a guide. That's what we do. Get out and check the lakes. So when the, bike, when the sun does come out and the bike does come on, we're ready. So let's see what happens. Let's get our line in there and see if we can catch fish. Well, there it is. Extreme conditions. We've got a northwest wind. It's raining. Uh, I've tried jigging, spooning, spinning. I haven't tried bait yet. And I've got the all-weather gear, windproof, waterproof. And if you weren't out here with that kind of gear, you'd freeze to death. That's extreme fishing. I haven't caught anything yet. Made over 100 casts. So we're going to make another move and see what's going on. So stick with us as we keep trying for some to get a bite, even a fall would be nice. Anyways, brave in the cold, extreme conditions. May 28th, 2010. Look at the weather, I mean, I'm moving into the next spot, but the lake is high. Look at it, it's beautiful. I'm trying to get some early spring fishing in at mine. It is extreme conditions for me. Very cold, very wet. If you're out there too long and you get wet, you'll freeze. Cool. Let's give it our go. Down by the docks, got a line in. We're going to try some just baiting them. Got a line in. See if we got a bite. The water's dirty and snowing and cold. And I'm on the kitchen. Crazy, huh? But, so I got to check the lake first time in uh, here since last year. Season opener to 10 days ago. And we'll see if I can get a fish. Other than that, I'm just telling how it's going. Freeze my buttons off. Extreme fishing. And cold water. Ah, I got one on. Extreme conditions. A little jiggy. Got a walleye. There's, look at it over the lake. There's no boats. There's nobody down here. No, no campers. Nothing. Here it is on weekend. Strange for me. That's three now. Extreme conditions, walleye fishing. Season, well, just in the beginning of the season. I'm having fun. Everybody else is free, sitting at home in front of the computer or watching TV, staying warm. And I'm a crazy bugger. I like to be out in the outdoors. I love it out here. So stick with me. Sharp hooks, tight lines, and we'll see if we catch some more fish. Look at how subtle they're biting. This one's gonna pull the rod in, watch. Oh, he got off. See how quick that was? He stole the minnow in here. All right, we got a burbot on. You can keep one of those if you want them. Right on, a ling, hoo hoo. On to the next one. Geez, I'm just catching fish like crazy. What's that, like 12? <laughs> I'm just busy catching fish. And it goes to show you, when you get out in extreme conditions, you can catch them. It's the best. Northwest wind, the best. All right, nothing big, but lots of fun, and the weather's subsiding a little bit, and the wind's calmed down, and it's still raining, light rain, and the snow has stopped, and now oh, I'm just slamming fish. I must be at 20 fish by now. Easy. I just went through a tub of minnows. Next. Right on. I've run out of bait. I've caught three walleye already, and a couple of ling, and now I have that chia ch uh, chase to uh, power bait. I'm freezing. I had to go to the truck and warm up, have lunch, come back out up front, start catching more fish. That's 31. Look at that. I no sooner threw it in there, and the fish are gulping it up. I'm not even using uh, minnows anymore, just plastics. So they're pretty aggressive. And look at how miserable it is out there. Goes to show you, just because you think it's cold outside, maybe the fish don't. So you got to give it a go. Get out there 
and give it, you know, work at it. You might have to put the right gear on, stay warm, go have a few breaks. But when you're when you're fishing, fishing hard, and they're biting, you're going to catch them just like that on plastics now. So they're pretty aggressive, considering it's made in the cold. Everybody, thanks for joining me. Thanks for uh, coming out in the cold weather and extreme conditions here at the end of May. And I'm just slamming my stick. So I've caught over 15 uh, walleye on just rubber and the rest on bait. Wow, what a tough day I've had. So on to the next one. Like I say, you give, you give it a go. You get out, enjoy the weather. Even if you don't like, like me, I like it. So get out and give it a go. And if you enjoy the sport fishing as I do, the weather won't even bother you. Dress accordingly and have fun. So until next time, sharp hooks, tight lines. You better get this fish in here. I'm just busy, busy, busy. See you next week. All right, thanks for joining me, everybody, for Extreme Fishing. Me, 28, 2010. I caught a lot of fish today. Just on uh, digging rubber and a little bit of bait. Mostly, uh, what, what am I, 40, 48 fish today. Wow, I only fished for about three hours. So quite steady, northwest wind, about two degrees, and rainy, snowy, cold weather. Pretty extreme. So join me next week for Fishing with Andy. Until then, bye for now. Be it summer or winter, he can arrange trips to many rivers and streams, in addition to many prairie lakes such as Crawling Valley, McGregor, Badger, Kehoe, Travers, and Little Bow Lakes. The Master Angler also offers great walk and wade trips to many of Southern Alberta's great trout rivers and streams, such as the world famous Bow River for monster rainbows and browns, the Sheep and Highwood Rivers, which hold among others rainbows, bulls, brook trout, and Rocky Mountain whitefish. Now either bring your own rods and tackle, either spin or fly, or leave it to the Master Angler to set you up, as he has all the necessary equipment and gear to get you out fishing. Either way, make sure you bring your camera so you can remember your trip of a lifetime with the Master Angler.